Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where it's time for another European trip. Today we're going to be making our way out to Germany. So this morning we're at London Stansted Airport and we're going to be flying over to Hamburg Airport. When we get to Hamburg we're going to be picking up a hire car and then making our way to our first hotel which we'll show you in this travel vlog and that's located close to one of the parks that we're going to be visiting and that is Hansa Park. Oh I'm really looking forward to getting to this park and getting on Karna. Yeah it's going to be Charlotte's first visit here as well yeah, which I'm is really great. Looking forward to it. I've not seen much about the park so I can't wait to get in there. First time to this part of Germany because we're also going to be going to Heide Park and uh, yeah you're looking forward to that as well? Yeah I'm Wicker Man's brother. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been to either of these parks since 2019. I've only been to Hansa Park once and uh, I've been to Heide Park a couple of times. Yeah it'd be nice to get back out here. It's been like four years so really looking forward to it. We're also going to be staying over at the Heide Park Adventure Hotel so we'll have a vlog coming up from there. We've got one day at Hansa Park, two days at Heide Park and uh, yeah it's going to be really nice looking forward to it. We're also going to be doing the Hamburg Dungeon whilst we're out there and along with that checking out Miniature Wonderland in Hamburg and we'll be filming that for our second channel, The Sandbrook Adventures. So make sure you come over there and join us. Um, yeah, we're down here. We've got a good flight time today. It's 11.45 flight time from Stansted. It took about two and a half hours to get from where we're based in Staffordshire down here to Stansted. We fly from here a lot because the, the price of flights is really cheap to yeah, be honest. Yeah, you can get some really <laughs> good deals if you're flying from this airport. I think because it's not really in London so you get the better deal. I don't know why they call it uh, London. And Stansted Airport. It's nowhere near London, but uh, yeah, I'm not complaining because it's got some good cheap prices um, on the flights. We're flying with Ryanair and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So come and join us. We're just here on the car park. We're on the midstay and we're just going to go and head over onto the bus now. It takes about 10 minutes and that'll take us down to the terminal. The first tip with airport parking is always remember exactly where you've parked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we're over in L3, not L2 like I just showed you there, L3. And yeah, quite conveniently, the bus has just rocked up here. So yeah, bus stop 15, always get a picture or video of that as well. This will take us down to the terminal. When it comes to airport parking, you're best booking it online. That's what I normally do. Well, nice easy trip there on the coach. It only took about five minutes from the midstay car park down here to the terminal. I knew we waited about 15 minutes there at security, so not too bad at all, really. Yeah, it moved quite quick, so it wasn't too bad at all. Plenty of time, unlike that person oh. that just ran past. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah, we always like leaving lots of time, always don't we? Make sure you leave time, don't rush them out. Yeah, well, the flight's not till 11 45, gate closed 11 15, oh, and it's 9 21 now, so. Loads of time to have a look around the shops. Yeah, there is a weather spoons in here as well. A very expensive one. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let's look at the departure boards just over here. Lots of shops and restaurants here at Stansted. So many theme park trips I've done over the years from Stansted. And yeah, without Ryanair, I love more Hayton, but without Ryanair, I wouldn't have got to a lot of the theme parks that I have done. Cheap flights. Love it. We had a nice chill there over in Weatherspoon. Spent about 45 minutes just in there relaxing, didn't we? Uh, two slices of toast and an orange cordial. It was just under five pounds, so not too bad for airport prices. You expect that's it. the thing. You're always going to pay more, aren't you, at an you airport? Pay that little bit premium price. Yeah, enjoyed my jam putting that on there. Oh, it was lovely. No, no, nice bit of jam. Oh, fantastic! I love uh, Weatherspoon's bread. It tastes yeah, really it's good. Really nice. And they have like pack butter. But yeah, ready for your Ryanair flight? Yes, I mean, I've never seen on the First one of the year actually for Ryanair flight. Yeah, we've done a lot of travelling but we've not done one of these yet. And there we go, here's a look at one of Ryanair's aircraft. We're not going to be on this one because this is going to another destination. But um, yeah, we'll be boarding shortly just down here. Gate 46, about a 90 minute flight, just under I think, over to Hamburg in Germany. So, yeah, I'll see you on the plane, got a window seat so I'll get a few shots along the way. And yeah, looking forward to it. Really excited to get back to these two parks for the first time in four years. And of course Charlotte's first visit.
we just come off our nice Ryanair flight. Yeah, it was an hour and 15 minutes, so not too bad at all, I was it? I just went to sleep, so it went really quick. <laughs> you chilled out. I looked out the window and got some of the shots that you've just seen there. And uh, like I say, you can love or hate Ryanair, but I really do enjoy flying with them. That's because it's no frills. Like, you get what you pay for. These flights are really cheap. Um, all the flights cost like 80 pounds return for the like, both of us. Really so. can't complain at that, to be honest. Yeah. This service is okay. It is. Like, you get what you pay for, don't you? I don't have a problem with Ryanair. And like I say, without them, I wouldn't have got a lot of these trips in that I've done over the years. You know, they take me closer to these coasters. Exactly, so. which is what we love. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We just arrived then at Hamburg Airport. Took about 15 minutes to get through passport control. And uh, yeah, we've just been to pick up our hire car. And it's quite funny the name of the company, it's isn't it? OK Mobility. <laughs> I've never heard of them before. Thought we were getting a mobility scooter <laughs> at first. Like going down to Hyder Park and Hansa Park on that. But uh, no, we've just picked up that. I ordered a Polo and we've got a Jeep. So, so I'm interested to see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, the hire car. I actually booked the parking at Stansted Airport, the flights and the hire car all together with Ryanair. And sometimes you get some really good deals doing that. I mean, I'm a bit of a deal hunter. I like my bargains. I like searching around to get the best things. And yeah, a lot of the time, Ryanair do these little packages. I didn't book the accommodation through them, but uh, it worked out really it's good. It's definitely worth looking into if you are looking at parking and car hire. Yeah. You can do it all as like a package and it might work out better for you. Yeah, and it does. Like, I, I went on, I looked at my flights, then I went on a separate website to look at how much it was for the hire car and for the parking at Stansted. And it was like an extra £150. So yeah, all this um, was a lot cheaper booking it all together through Ryanair. It's not a sponsorship or anything with Ryanair. <laughs> just, you know, I think they're really good for, for what you get. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. But uh, anyway, we're going to find our Jeep now. It's parked somewhere about a three minute walk down here, apparently. Never driven a Jeep before, so this could be a laugh, but yeah, we're making our way down here to the parking structure. Yeah, it's just take a right when you come out of the uh, arrivals area. and just making our way now around to the car park structure, which is literally just here. And we've got to go to the fifth floor. So we'll head upstairs and we'll go and find the Jeep. Well, we're getting our steps in already this trip. We walked into the building and both lifts are out of service. Oh, so we'll all walk up just here. Nice to see the yellow fisherman coat on as well, Charlotte. Hey, oh, I mean, they got a ghost over that. <laughs> These doors get open. I thought it was us on a sensor, and yeah, maybe it's a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nearly there. There we go. So this is the company, OK Mobility, and yeah, we're in space number. What, is it 51? <laughs> there we go. Is it that there? Is it the grey? Oh, that looks good. It'll be all right in there. Oh, that, that's all right. That is. I've never driven one of these before. That's the fun of it, isn't it? Having these high cars. Oh, this looks all right, doesn't it? There we go. This is the car for the next few days. Let's go and get in the Jeep. Right then, so off we go here in the Jeep. Yeah, quite a big car, one of the biggest that I've big. ever uh, been in actually and drove. But yeah, it's good fun. Like, luckily with this trip, we're not doing a huge amount of driving anyway. Um, if we're driving like hundreds of miles or thousands of miles, like we're going to be doing on that USA road trip we just announced, uh, check out the video if you haven't already seen it, uh, then yeah, I'd be a little bit more concerned. But uh, yeah, we're all right. Like, it's, uh, it's really nice actually with the clutch. And yeah, it's a manual transmission car as well. It's not an automatic. Um, sometimes I prefer having a manual actually. Obviously, I drive a manual you're at home with the Clio. So yeah, it's just uh, driving down now to a car park. We're off the Miniature Wonderland first. And like I say, that vlog's gonna be coming up over on the Sandbrook Adventures. So yeah, we're just driving now. It's about a seven mile trip from the airport. And so uh, yeah, it's actually taking about half an hour. So quite a lot of smaller roads and traffic, I think, along this way. Um, but when we get down there, we're gonna park in a parking garage. Um, and then yeah, that's just around the corner from Miniature Wonderland. We'll then continue on with this travel vlog and take you to our accommodation where we're staying tonight at the B&B Hotel in Lubeck. Um, and yeah, that's quite close to Hansa Park. We're staying there for the night and we're kind of showing you what it can be like to stay in more of a budget accommodation if you want to do Hyder Park and Hansa Park, both next to each other, uh, quite close to each other within about 90 minutes. Uh, but obviously we are going to be showing as well the Hyder Park Adventure Hotel. So yeah, lots coming up. But yeah, here's a look at the roads. Very simple, really. And uh, to navigate, if you've uh, drove before um, abroad, then yeah, it's very similar. Whether you're driving in Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Germany, all very similar. I mean, there is some different road laws and restrictions to follow but in general it's all pretty um similar to be honest so yeah we'll just follow this now and in about 20 minutes we'll arrive at the parking garage and we'll give you a bit more of a better tour of the car then as well
Well, after about a 25 minute drive, we've made it here to the multi-story car park. And I tell you what, this Jeep is a big car, but it's a nice one. I really enjoyed driving that, it was good. It was quite busy around here. You certainly don't want to be uh, doing this drive if it's your it first time driving so abroad. Busy. There was cars, there was lorries everywhere, oh, it's busy. <laughs> yeah, there's lots going on. Look, I'm quite experienced when it comes to driving abroad. Driven a lot of higher cars over the past few years. Uh, it's weird, really. I only passed my test like five years ago. And I think I've driven in like 12 or 13 countries. I worked it out not long ago. Right? I've never driven a bro. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. Well, on the car park a little bit, like, you know. Yeah, uh, just having just a, little, little a little go in them. But yeah, here's a look. Inside, it's very nice. It's cheap. I have to get one of these at some point. You know, like I say, manual transition, uh, transmission as well. Transition, transmission. Loads of seating in here, which is good. It's got the Apple CarPlay as well, which is good. So, you know, you can actually get the sat nav up on the screen just there. Very nice. A couple of tips though when you are hiring a car, always find out, you know, if it's full to full with the fuel policy, as in, is it already full when you get it and you take it back full? That's what we've got. I mean, we won't need to fill it up again other than when we take it back. Look at these down here. Oh, these are nice. It's only done 14,000 miles on the clock, so it's pretty much brand new. Oh, like, good. That's why I'm being extra careful. Yeah, yeah, it's got no scratches or anything. Car, and that leads me on to my next tip. Always kind of ask and see, you know, is there any scratches or dents or anything? They'll always show you like a picture. Before you sign your name, always double check the car as well, make sure. Everything. What they'll do is they'll say, check the car, and if you see anything other than that, you can email them off. Yeah, definitely. You've got a big boot just in here as well. Massive. Which is nice, yeah, as you can see, lots of space in there. Well, yeah, it's five door as well, so it's got two seats in the back, but there you go. Little, quite a bit of space in there, it's nice. Anyway, we're going to make our way now to Miniature Wonderland, which is about a five minute walk from here. And uh, yeah, we're going to be filming that for the Sandbrook Adventures. And then we'll continue this travel vlog tonight where we'll get back in the car and we'll show you our hotel where we're staying tonight. It's going to be good. In Lubeck. Never so, heard of it. <laughs> not, yeah, not too far away um, from here. Yeah, there. in Lubeck. A lot of the driving we're going to be doing um, is going to be like out on country roads and that sort of thing. Um, smaller there. roads, yeah. And even just motorways are easier to drive than, you know, cyclists coming down, pedestrian crossings, all that kind of stuff. Everything in the city Got to be really aware. But yeah, come and join us over on the Sandbrook Adventures for that vlog. And we'll see you later on when we'll continue on here in the Jeep, the TPW Jeep. I love it. Well, we've just been to Miniature Wonderland and absolutely loved it. You really enjoyed your first oh, visit, didn't you? absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that vlog's coming up over on the Sandbrook Adventures. So if you haven't already, head over to our second channel. We'll put a link down below in the video description where you can see that. Uh, last time I filmed at the theme park worldwide, but I thought now with us having both channels, uh, I thought it'd fit in better on that channel, Definitely. really, showing you that. such an amazing time. It was great. Uh, anyway, back in the Jeep then now. Hey, we're going to be driving about 45 minutes to Lubeck to the B and b hotel so yeah this was about 80 euros for the night looks quite nice we stayed in a b&b &B hotel yeah, before and it haven't we really nice. yeah so we're going to drive up that way now and that's pretty close to hansa park and also it's kind of more of a budget accommodation if you don't fancy staying on site at hyder park um it kind of shows you where you can stay if you want to do things more on a budget as well let's go So we're out of the city of Hamburg now, and we, yeah, we're on the German Autobahn now, and if you've never driven on one of these before, effectively, you can go as fast as you want <laughs> on these sections. I'm keeping it to a nice, respectable 80 miles an hour. We'll like, go for that, 10 I've miles an hour very faster. very fast people coming past us. <laughs> yeah, like literally, somebody came down, must have been doing 150, maybe a little bit yeah. more than that, come flying past. The thing is with this, I mean, you've got to be careful when you're overtaking. Say there was a lorry in front of me just here now, you need to move over, or even worse really, if you've got a lorry in this lane and a lorry in the middle lane and you want to overtake, and you've got to go to the left in the fast lane, sometimes it can be really hard to judge how fast a vehicle is tell. coming down. You know, I've had it before where I thought it was clear, I've gone in for the overtake, five seconds later, there's a car right up behind you flashing the light. So you've got to be careful. These uh, you know, Germans like to drive fast over here. Not everybody, um, but the thing is just being respectful. I think about 80 is nice. About an extra 10 miles an hour is what we can do back home legally. Um, I just think that really helps, especially on a longer journey. We're not really doing long journeys on this trip. Like it's I say, this is bad. 45 minutes um, up to by near Hansa Park. We're then within 20 minutes of the park. Um, and then the drive after that tomorrow is only going to be an hour and a half down to Hyder Park um, so we're not doing like long long journeys on this uh, so it doesn't really make that much difference but it's like now when I'm overtaking you've really got to have a good look in your mirror I mean you've got to anyway but you've got to really really look 
um, when you're on the German Autobahn. But yeah, we'll be arriving down here in about 18 minutes. Look at these wind turbine arms, oh, they're so big. That was amazing. Like, I, I tried to get them the best I could. <laughs> I've never seen one like in pieces like that before, but yeah, massive. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, viewers, but I'm pretty sure I've seen these before on a TV program, like a documentary. These wires that are overhead on the inside lane on both sides of the carriageway, I think they're for like electric buses um, and they kind of connect on with a pole but they have to obviously stay in that lane because they actually connect onto it to power them. But that's what I'm pretty sure they're for anyway. I've never seen them there. before. Yeah, I don't think I've seen one in person, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen it on a documentary before on TV. But yeah, you can see the wires all the way down above that lane. So we've had a really nice easy drive there and nice a look at the B&B Hotel. Looks quite a new build actually it just does. over there as well. We just called into a German supermarket as well. What was it called? I can't remember the name now I actually. I have no idea. Yeah. It's not beginning with R. Yeah, <laughs> we just called in there and uh, yeah, just got a couple of bits as well. A few little supplies and yeah, if we just cross over this way, we've got some road works going on here it seems. I'm enjoying the Jeep though. It's good. Drives nice. It, it does drive nice, yeah. So if we take a left turn just round here and yeah we'll down. head round to the uh, B&B hotel. What a beautiful sky tonight. I tell you what though it's very cold still for this time of year like heading into May and it's freezing tonight it really is. Yeah, here's the reception looks like there's a bit of refurbishment work going on because we struggled to get a space some of the car parking was full of mattresses. <laughs> Well, we had a good laugh there. We actually had to use the machine to check in and then went through it all on the machine and then realised there's a member of staff around the side. Yeah, so we did all that. <laughs> we got the coach to open the door. We're there trying to open the door and the member of staff is just literally stood there <laughs> yeah. watching us. This is the door like into the reception, we you know. Just it could have come and helped us, but. It could have helped, yeah. we didn't, but it's a <laughs> There's a bit of construction going on downstairs. We thought, oh, here we go. What's the room going to be like? like construction but... site yeah. in the lobby area. <laughs> yeah, it's nice up here, though, you yeah, know. Yeah, I think what they must be doing is they must be going and refurbishing the rooms because the mattresses that are on the car park are like these ones. Yeah. The at the bottom. Maybe they're the old ones or the new, I'm not too sure. Must be but... refurbishing the rooms. Yes, this shows you what a budget room is like. If you want to do this trip on more of a budget, it costs about 80 euros for one night here. Not, too, not bad. too bad. And we're pretty close because Hansa Park's 20 minutes from here. Hyder Park's an hour and 17 it's minutes from here. here. Yeah, obviously we're going to be staying at the Hyder Park Hotel and showing you that. However, um, yeah, we thought that, you know, you could just base your trip here if you wanted to and then travel down there and drive out into Hamburg, do the dungeon, that sort of thing, you know, and have this as your main base if you want to do it more on a budget. But we're kind of showing you both options this trip. We're showing you all the budget option here and the Hyder Park Hotel as well. Definitely. So, but yeah, nice big bed just here. I do miss only having like one pillow. I like two, I do, but it's a European thing. You it know? is, yeah, mainland Europe, you tend to get that, but I do like having the separate quilts oh, just so here. That's uh, really nice. You've got to the plugs down at either side, little table. This is great on the back just here, isn't it? Look at that, all I the like artwork. That. All the doors on there, the doors of Hamburg, and some of the spires and things as well just on there. Yeah, nice. uh, kind of inspired by the, the local area, really, which is really nice. Uh, probably more from Lübeck than Hamburg. As much as Hamburg is the closest kind of big city to here, um, we're actually in Lübeck itself, which is, you know, what, we just took about 40 minute drive from right in the centre. Before. Yeah, <laughs> we're not that far from the coast actually up here. Like Hansa Park's very close to like the beaches and that oh, sort nice. of thing. Yeah, holiday destination. So that's something else to consider if you come when it's a bit warmer. We've got a small little window at the other side. Um, you can't see anything at night, but yeah, it looks out on the train track. TV and a mirror and quite a bit of storage over here with some towels as well. Just an open wardrobe, but we're only here for the night. She's very tired, that lady just there. As you can see, she's having a good old... That'll be us shortly. Yeah, <laughs> There's also a little desk area at the side here, isn't there, yeah, as well? Just uh, get that in. There you go. Little desk with some plugs. We've just been down that supermarket, got some Volvic waters and a couple of other bits as well. We've got a bathroom. Here we go. Without so, a bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> shower just over here. Yeah, this looks brand new. Like it, all, does. it almost smells new, like hardly anybody's, you know, new like all this tile and everything. I think this has been done like this week, to be honest. So. Um, you can see like, all the basin there, toilet. It's quite a nice layout in here, actually. A bit of storage at the top. And there you go. That is. The B and B hotel, but all of them tend to be very similar to each other, don't they? With these, you yeah, stayed same in sort them. Of style, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, this is probably one of their newer, more modern rooms because it's just been refurbished. But yeah, it's really nice. Anyway, we're gonna have some sleep, get some rest, and then we'll continue the travel vlog tomorrow morning. With that, get a bit of footage driving down to Hansa Park, shall we? So excited. Yeah, it's gonna be great getting on the uh, car and oh, all. Can't wait to see how it rides. And then, of course, we'll get a bit of footage tomorrow night because we're driving down to Hyder Park, and that's where we'll wrap up this travel vlog. We'll see you all in the morning. Let's go and ride on Carton.
Well, we had a good sleep there at the B&B Hotel. It's a good job we got up when we did, though, because they started doing construction work, didn't they, at 8.30? Yeah, there was, like, <laughs> drilling and banging, but it was advertised when we went into the hotel. Yeah, it didn't say an hour online before I booked, though, but uh, still, we're now making our way on the journey to Hansa Park. And, yeah, it's a beautiful, sunny morning. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit chilly this morning. It's only 6 degrees. At least the sun's but, out, though. Yeah, sun shining, blue skies, as we make our way to Hansa Park for Charlotte's first ever a visit there's nothing like going to a park for the first time and uh, you know that you've never been before is there? I can't wait it's really exciting and uh, yeah it's about a 20 minute drive from the hotel and uh, yeah about 17 miles so not too bad at all yeah so we're just going to keep following this now we're on here for like 10 miles straight um, and when we come off yeah the park's going to be pretty much just there a couple of smaller roads and we'll head on to the car park Oh, we're just three miles down from the park now, and I've just had a glimpse of Highlander, the four oh, tallest there. drop tower in the world, the and also Carnan as well, the main event that we're really looking forward to. Can't wait to get back on it. I don't know if you pick it up on the camera or not. I don't think it will because of the trees. Yeah, we're very close there. We've just seen it in the distance. Oh, we're just coming round the corner here, and you're going to be greeted by Highlander. There it is. Oh Look my at gosh. that. It's a beast. It's massive. <laughs> Huge drop tower right there. Yeah, we're looking forward to getting back on that. And the view should be great today with this lovely weather. We are just making our way to the car park. The park's on the right hand side, but the car park is on the left. And you cross over, there's a bridge just down there. You oh, that's car cross over. Hey. Oh, I'm so pumped. Really excited. Yeah, we'll get a bit more footage when we get on the car park. Well, the car park's not very busy, which is a good sign. It is a weekday. So, yeah, hopefully. We're going to get lots of rides in. You'll be able to see that vlog coming up tomorrow here on Theme Park Worldwide. I've fallen in love with this Jeep, Charlotte. I really like it. Nice, it. Yeah, it's one of the best hire cars I've ever had, and what an upgrade. And there's a look at Highlander over in the distance, all the cute little buildings here as well. Really nice entrance. But yeah, we'll leave the Jeep behind, and we'll leave you all behind for now, and we'll see you later on when we continue the final part of this travel vlog, making our way down to Hyder Park. So we've had a fantastic day at Hansa Park. It's been amazing. We've got a great action-packed vlog on the way for you tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Got loads of rides in today and being absolutely brilliant. Have you had a good time, Charlotte? Yeah, we've had a really good day. Fantastic first visit for Charlotte. And yeah, only my second time going as well. So stay tuned for that coming up tomorrow. We left about half an hour ago and we're making that journey now down to Hyder Park. Like I said earlier on, it's about a 90-minute journey um, down from Hansa Park to Hyder Park and yeah we're about half an hour into that now about an hour to go and we'll be arriving down there so we'll get a few more shots along the way and uh, yeah of course we're going to be wrapping up the travel vlog down there as well I've got to say I absolutely love this Jeep like it's brilliant it like, rides so well it does really smooth really nice yeah it's got six gears as well which I'm not really that used to um, but yeah I've been coping well it's a really nice car what an upgrade from what we should have had a Polo Right then, so we've just come off the main road and yeah, we're about 10 minutes away now from the park itself and I tell you what, really nice journey, like no traffic or yeah, anything. Yeah, it's not been bad at all. Yeah, it's been ideal. I love all these little German houses mm. and buildings around here and with this park, it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere and I always remember coming for the first time um, back in 2014 for the opening of Flug de Damonen there we go it's my pronunciation mm -hmm. and the wing coaster here i always remember coming out for it and walking to the park because the public transport was like that bad and walking like 40 minutes to the park or something um yeah look at this we're literally in the middle of nowhere and this is the road that leads down to the park there's colossus just over there oh yeah absolutely huge wooden roller That's coaster crake. yeah you see crate the dive machine and scream the um, drop tower just over there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that used to actually be an observation tower um, back in the day. Yeah, it got uh, changed, but there we go. Eight minutes till we're at the park. A few miles to go. Look at that. Looks great. So excited to get in there. Yeah, so am I. It's going to be great. Oh, here we go. Look at that awesome wow. view. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen it before from this angle. Colossus just there. Fantastic. What a beast that ride is. Slow right down because there's no traffic at all around here. Really quiet. 
Hey, got the welcome sign just there as well. Does it make our way down? See, it's a bit like going to Alton Towers, to be honest. And obviously, is. this is a Merlin owned theme park out here as well. And if you have got a Merlin annual pass, you do get 50% discount on this so bear that in mind yeah, if you are coming out here but yeah i think through the trees we'll get another view of colossus in just a second here not colossus colossus this one yeah so we're making our way up towards the hotel near the end of this travel vlog but like i say we're going to be filming uh, the, all the hands apart vlogs coming up and then yeah we're also going to be having two days here with two vlogs and staying on site as well there you go some more great views looking over the park what an absolute beauty crate there as well Fantastic. All right, we'll just pull in now and we'll wrap up the vlog. Hey, here we go. There's the big mascot down here at the entrance. Look at him. <laughs> I like it. Very cool. There he is. Hey. hey. Right, let's make our way now to the Adventure Hotel. Where do we want? Right lane. Luckily, we're coming in. There's the main entrance. We're coming in right later on. Hyde Park. So it's a bit quiet. Yeah, it is. And then we'll make our way just up here to the hotel, Adventure Hotel this direction fantastic so we just went up to the barrier and they said to press a button and we were like hotel check in he was like yep in you come and yeah we're driving through the grand gates it's like alton towers hotel this place there we go it just remind me of that a lot big gates just here look at this oh this looks really nice you make our way in and da -da -da -da. there's the car just there as well it's literally like alton towers hotel the adventure hotel here at Hyde park well there we go, we've arrived here at the Hyder Park Hotel and we'll be giving you a full tour round very soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, that brings us to the end of our travel vlog, making our way from London Stansted. Well, we started off on the car park there and rendered it up on the car park just I here. hope you've all enjoyed it. It's gave you a little bit of an insight of the travel if you are coming over and doing this. Yeah, definitely. And also as well, with the B&B Hotel we stayed in last night, shows you where you can stay if you want to do things on a bit more of a budget. Not like the Hyder Park Hotel's really expensive. I'll go more into that when we film that dedicated hotel vlog. Um, but if you want to, you can stay at like the B&B Hotel, which is closer to Hansa Park, and there's travel down here for the day and go back and again, go you back, know, yeah. um, really easy. And that also, of course, applies if you're flying into Hamburg like we did. Worth pointing out, you can also fly into Bremen, which is close to Hyder Park, uh, but obviously it's further away from Hansa Park. So it so all depends where you, where you want to be when you're planning these trips. But yeah, the flight was good with Ryanair that we did yesterday. That was yeah, fantastic. And uh, the highlight for me has been getting upgraded to the Jeep just here as well. Yeah, the Jeep. It's a really good car, actually. It drives quite nice, nice and smooth. Yeah, it's been one of the best hire cars that uh, I've ever had this one. And for like, what I paid, fantastic. Like £110, <laughs> pounds, I think it was, something like that. Um, got a good cheeky upgrade. That's the thing with hire cars. Um, you know, sometimes you get an upgrade That's if you haven't got left. the one in that uh, you ordered. Like, we got, we ended up with a Polo, we ended up with this. Not like there's anything wrong with a Polo, but um, yeah, I'm always happy for a good a cheeky upgrade. Ride. Definitely. Uh, but anyway, next vlog coming up tomorrow will be from Hansa Park. We filmed that today and uh, we look forward to taking you for a long and then of course we'll be having two days here at Hyder Park for Charlotte's first visit oh, and wait. also the hotel stay as well I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like inside it's going to be awesome thank you very much for watching and that leaves with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog